I'm a third year at UC Berkeley studying linguistics. I identify myself as a Korean American because both of my parents are from Korea and I was born and raised in Southern California. Um, I've never lived in Korea before. Um, I've only visited once when I was in third grade for about two months and when I was young, I actually resented being a Korean, let alone being an Asian, because I was so different from the people around me, the people that I went to school with. There were not that many Asians, let alone Koreans. There were no Koreans at all. Um, people referred to me as Chinese or Japanese, and I really didn't like that. So I just didn't like being different. But then it wasn't until junior high when my cousins from Korea visited, and they started watching this Korean drama. And since I understand and know how to speak the language, um, it was easy for me to watch it and, um, and understand it and get really into it. And um, that's when my interest in the Korean culture and Korean society, that's when it all began. And I actually, when I, went to, when I got into high school, uh, I established and founded a club, the Koreans of Second Language Club. And I wanted to share my knowledge, like what I learned through my the Korean dramas and through, I don't know, listening to my parents talk about the Korean news. I wanted to share all that with the people that I go to school with. After realizing that my Korean name actually has a specific meaning and it was given to me intentionally by my grandfather, um, it just became more of an obligation to formally know the culture, the Korean society and Korean culture. Um, it's just a part of me that I want to define and kind of have a um, concrete foundation. Like it's sort of like an obligation. So I think my Korean name gives me that drive, that that last motivating drive to uh, to pursue um, learning the Korean culture. I think name plays a very important role in. Identity, my cultural identity. Um, so, for instance, for my Korean name, I only get referred to as Chuhi, my Korean name, by my parents at home. So, it's only mainly used at home. But even though I only use Chuhi at home, I think it's a very important part of me. It's the one thing that makes me feel like I'm connected to my uh, Korean heritage. It's something something that, I don't know how to explain it, I, it's something that makes me want to know more about that part of me. It's a very big part of me. And so, name plays a big role in what I want to know more about myself. To Jennifer, a sense of diaspora only existed as something imaginary, different from the first generation whose memories and experiences in Korea remains concrete. In this situation, Jennifer's Korean name serves as a bridge that connects her to a cultural background that she has never actually been to. Her name plays as a driving force to discover not only the other world, but her true self.